we're going to talk about T5 shifters. The T5 five-speed, uh, originally created by Borg Warner Transmissions and now a company called Tremac owns the rights to it, is one of the most popular five-speed transmissions ever made. As a result of it, a lot of people use it for many conversions. There are many T5 shifters out there. This is a typical kind of GM short stub shifter we call. This is something out of a Mustang. You see it's got a little bit longer base. This is an S10 Blazer one. You see the way it's got the S curve to the stick. Uh, ooh. And this is one from a Jeep. This is what the Jeep ones look like. What I'm going to teach you today is how to take something like this, uh, which has maybe a bolt on stick. And what people do is they may bolt something on or weld something and add it to it. And it really looks kind of chintzy and not really pro. So we're going to take something like this and we're going to turn it into something like this, which is a nice little trick little shifter we make for the Jaguars. It's nice and compact. And um, by creating a shifter like this, you also give the transmission a better shift feel uh, as in regards to it maybe having some weird offset levers welded on or bolted on. So this gives you a really nice positive feel and plus it's very trick looking. Okay, so this is your basic T5 shifter. And we're going to take the boot off of it. And what you're going to see here are three little hold downs for the front cover. These hold downs, you have two in the front and one in the back. Uh, what a lot of people do is they tend to peel these up. You can see they just fold it over. And what they'll do is they'll peel them up, do whatever they have to do, and then knock them back down again. The problem is, is these, these usually will crack. They're kind of hard. And so it's easier just to cut this one off, slide everything out, put everything back, and then fuse weld it along the side once it's together. So what you got now is you just take this off and you'll see these are, the, these are springs here, these little three things, these are kind of these U-shaped springs, there's three of them. And they're different colors. Different colors and different thicknesses represent the spring rates. And you can play with these and change them around if you want different types of spring rates. I have a whole collection of, sh of shifter parts that I save and I could vary the spring rates of the shifter by just changing these springs. And you're going to have this little plastic piece here that that protects uh, uh, this little cross rod over here fits on there like that and then you're going to have the half circle thing whatever you want to call it this is basically your ball socket it's kind of like a Delron Del material what we do is we'll take this uh, little piece here we'll cut it off the rest of it like that and we'll go back on the grind and we'll just clean this up a bit. So this is your shifter shaft. Shifter shafts on these, these five-speed uh, shifters have basically different lengths to them from where the center line of the ball socket is to the center line of the actual pivot pin. Uh, units that have uh, a lower center line will shift a lot longer than those that have a higher center line. A good example is these Ford shifters here. These are from the, the motorsport transmissions. If you look at, say, the Ford motorsport transmission compared to the, which is on the right to the one on the left here, you'll see that this has, is much shorter. This is their standard Ford T5 shifter, which is a longer throw shifter than this. You can interchange them, but that's all they do to make a short and long throw T5 shifter is just simply raise or lower the, the pivot point of the stick. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this stick here that we have here and we're going to cut this end off on a chop saw. I make these little nice little ferrules uh, and they have an angle already built into them and what I do is I'm going to cut this off and I'm going to weld this piece on here and make a nice, usually I'll offset them so that I get a good uh, a fillet weld on either side for strength.
All right, so I chopped this piece off over here on the on the chop saw, and this is what it looks like after it's chopped off. Uh, if it doesn't chop off straight, you can use the hand grinder and maybe clean it up on the hand grinder, but this looks pretty good. Of course, everybody's conversion is going to be a little bit different. So I'll just kind of show you how we do it. Okay, so I'm going to offset this, this bushing a little bit because I want to have fillet welds on both sides. I'm using a TIG welder on this because a TIG welder allows me to kind of do fills as opposed to wire feed. That's about where I want it. So if you look, what I've done, I've kind of offset a little bit on the piece. So the first thing I, I do is I tack one side, flip it over, and then do the fill on the other side that needs it the most. That's tacked. I'll flip it over and do the other side and do the whole fill. I'll go back to the other side and finish it up. I've welded literally thousands of these. I've never had one break doing it this way. You just kind of build it up little by little. Okay, so we're done welding this up now. I'm going to let it cool down. And then we're going to do a little bit of grinding work to it and then put it back in the shifter body. <clears throat> Alright, this is what it looks like. You see I have a nice fillet weld in the front. On the back side I ground quite a bit of the weld away, but I've built this up. And the reason why I do that is because when it's in the shifter like this and tilts this way, it'll still clear the shifter body. And that's about all the movement it, it's needed. So that's why I do it like this, but still it's very strong. I kind of clean up and I smooth the edges up because this way you can't cut the rubber boot when it goes over it. And uh, I'm going to go stick it inside the body now and then we'll fuse weld the whole thing together. Put a little grease in here. Drop the shifter body in like that. A little bit more grease on the top. Not much. This will get lubricate, lubricated somewhere from the transmission fluid because the transmission fluid will spit up inside the shift to housing. Put the little nylon piece in, on the top there. That kind of protects the cross shaft from wearing. Put the three spring plates back. Put the shifter cover back. What I'll do is I'll press it in. Like this. I snap it in and we'll stick it on the vise. We'll clamp it like this on the vise and then fuse weld this area together. What I do is tap them down and make sure it's all seated and flush again. Kind of make sure I, I put the plates back to the way the two were together. Once it's like that, I'll simply just fuse them together. Here's your completely modded shifter body now.